Hi everyone, this is part 3 of the uh, How to Make Your Own Mass Charger for 1860 50 Cells series. So, on part 1, quite a few of you have uh, shown some interest, some of you are saying it's dangerous and whatever else, and um, you know, they can explode and whatever, but you know, I don't think it is dangerous, I think it's safe, I think it's very safe. And I thought I'd do this video to show you the charging process. Now I will admit, it's not something where you just shove the cells in and say, you know, say goodbye to it. You, you know, you, you have got to have some common sense that you've got to be careful with it. You can't just put them in and leave it for hours and hours. But I thought I'd just show you the process anyway. And hopefully uh, clear, clear some stuff up for you. So, um, I think I'm going to have to take this camera off the jig and I'll show you what I do. Right, so I'm going to have to do this one handed so it's a little bit difficult. I've got my... Uh, power supply on 4.5 volts now when I first started doing this I put it on 4 volts but now I've worked out a bit more about how this works that I'm actually comfortable with the 4.5 volts I'll probably turn it down a little bit in, in a minute but yeah so what have we got here so th this is the ground one here and that's the 5 volt one so what I've been doing is just been getting cells these, these have actually already been charged to about 4 volts so what I've done is I've charged to 4 volts, and some of them are more, these ones are more than 4. But anyway, I've charged them to 4 volts, roughly, and then I'm going to charge them to 4.2. So anyway, I'll just get some cells, um, and put them in. Um, now, the way this is designed, and the way I initially thought about this, is that you would charge 15 cells. And really, um it's advisable to charge 15 if you put one in what can if you know just one cell what can happen is that it can draw the full 5 amps if you know if if its internal structure allows that uh, just because you put one in and you allow 5 amps doesn't mean that it necessarily will take 5 amps sometimes it can be you know less or maybe sometimes it could try and draw more but from my experience only the broken ones try and draw uh, you know huge amounts of current because they seem to act like a bit of a short circuit. Anyway, we're almost done there. So, first thing I've done, I've put the cells in. Then I'll check the polarity. So, if you want to as well, you can check their voltage, but I'm not going to bother with that. This one seems to have gone in a bit bent for some reason. Oh, it's got some rubbish on it. We'll forget that one for now. Put this one in instead. So, um... Check the polarity, of course, you need the polarity to be right. So the bottom is ground, as you can see that, and the top, this is the 5 volts. So I'll, oh, 4.5 volts. So I'll bring that closer to there, and simply put this on one-handed again. It's difficult. Okay, and you can see that it's contacted, and it's drawing one point something amps. So if I press this down, it'll try and draw more. So put that on it and it's drawing more so I'm going to change this down now, I don't want 4.5 volts from my experience that's just a little bit too much right but you can see that these ones are charged they've not drawn anything at 4 volts right so what we want here, we want something like 4.4 yeah 4.4, 4.3 and what we want to do is we want the voltage to be 4.2 volts but to get to 4.2 volts you have to charge it higher than 4.2 just a little bit higher so that's a 4.4 so now at this point if I wasn't sure about the cells, which I am sure about them, but if I wasn't what I would do is I'd give it a minute or two I mean it's not drawing 5 amps, that's good so I don't think there's a problem but what I'd do is I'd give it a minute or two then I'd take this off and feel each cell and if any one of the cells is red hot or, or very warm then that's a pretty good indication that it's a faulty cell and you want to take that out so if you've got a hot cell take it out because it look, it seems that it might have a short or there's some problem with it so you just take it out then if you want to you can check the voltage of the of the hot cell and you'll probably find that it's something like zero volts or something like that so if you've got one like that just chuck it it's not worth messing with in my opinion yeah so um, so stay with it for a minute or two if you've not got any problems, then pretty much just leave it for 10 minutes and check again. Okay, because I'm um, applying a quite a high voltage, I could easily overcharge these. So, I'm going <coughs> to take this off. 
take this off too and just check the voltages this is 4.3 you know it's I've got to be careful I mean I don't think there's going to be any significant damage by overcharging them by a little amount like that but you know I don't, I don't really know so the voltmeter's there <coughs> I'll just put this over here so we can see and let's check your cells so cell 1 4.2 so it's fully charged Okay, so let's try again now. Um, I've just took it off, so we just need to check the voltages now. So I'll just put it over here. <coughs> let's check the voltage of these cells. So that's slightly overcharged. Perfect. Not done. So those two are over 4.2 uh, or over. What's this one? 4.17, 4.22. That's slightly overdone. Nope. No, that one's done. So if I put them back together, maybe I should apply more voltage. Put them back on there. Obviously, you don't want to go too crazy though. Oh, look, it's not charging again now. 0 0.5, 500 milliamps. Now it's come back down. So. Maybe, maybe that's as much as it will charge, I don't know. Try 4.4. Yeah, it's drawing an amp now, so maybe, maybe it's working. Okay, I've just taken it off charge again, and we're trying to hit the 4.2. So we've got 4.21, so that one's done. Still not on that one, and that one still not on that one 4.2 we've hit that one so it seems that those ones just aren't charging for some reason for 4.2 we've got that one so I wonder why these ones are maybe they are charging but maybe they're just taking a long time um, I don't really know but anyway I'll keep going Let's charge the next load maybe they can't I don't know, maybe they can't actually get 4.2, I don't know. We'll see. Let's put some more cells in. I think the best way to do this as well is to just to aim to overcharge them slightly. So I'm setting this thing on 4.4 uh, volts. And there's a little bit of loss in the wires and stuff, let's just measure that. 4.32, that's about right for charging. 4.31, that's good. So, um, yeah, I'll come back soon and see what happened.